really sick. I was in the Olympics for almost a month, but just going through that time made me really learn. You know, I wanted to get up and go run, but I couldn't do anything. You know, I was just weak. But it made me just know that I had to relax, and I had to pray, and I had to let God take over and stop trying to be so in control of my life. I started climbing when I was 10 years old. My dad and I went shopping, and uh, there was a climbing wall in the store. And I climbed it, I went straight up the first one really easily. And they're like, oh wow, she's really talented. And then for Christmas, I ended up getting shoes and a chalk bag and a membership to a local climbing gym. And I just started entering little competitions and kept qualifying for them. Tori is a self-made track athlete, meaning that she's not one that came out with loads and loads of talent. Some people are, are blessed with that. Tori is a, a self-made athlete through discipline, through training, through hard work, through dedication, and just a, an absolute unbelievable will to succeed. When I think of Tori, that's what I think of. There's nothing she can't do. The first editing quiz I gave her, she really struggled with it. On top of never having taken a standardized quiz before because she had been homeschooled, she additionally struggled with dyslexia. And her scores climbed and, and and climbed until the end of the year where she was scoring among the highest of students and she turned an F to an A. My advice to kids my age is to really set goals, you know, not just someday I want to be in the Olympics, but you know, set goals leading up to that. And you can have them as on the test on Friday I want to get an A plus or you know all the way up to years away. My parents did that with me since I was young. That's definitely helped me. Representing the USA, Tori Allen. I climb four days a week for about three hours each time. I also coach some younger girls, and um, they're really strong, and it's really rewarding because last year they both made finals and one of them won. So, I don't know, just to, it's like, it's really rewarding. I stay connected to God by just, I mean, I pray all the time. I try very hard not to be associated with the people who do drugs or do drinking or go to those certain kinds of parties. Just spiritually, you know, it can get really tough at times, and. You just gotta, you gotta hang in there and never give up. Subscribe to our channel, The Real Winning Edge, now on YouTube. You can see more inspirational videos like this.